Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. I'm delighted to be joined by our BA students, Brother Waze Ali Rawood, Brother Madathir David, and Sister Bibi Zahra Qadir. And of course, it is the upcoming BA1 seminar, exploring the fundamental dimensions of Islam in Hadith Jibrail. So I'm going to start with yourself, um, uh, uh, Bibi. Tell us about what part of the seminar you are actually um, that you are actually covering as a group. Okay, so we're covering uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Um, we're looking at his role in the hadith in uh, teaching, because it's based on um, the Sahaba gathering around him and waiting to uh, gather some gems from him, some bits of knowledge that they can just like grab onto and adapt into their lives, and just to get, get close to Allah subhanahu wa taala. So um, we look at his role in teaching, we look at it as um, how uh, he impacted the entire modern educational system just at 1400 years ago. So um, that's part of it. We look at the etiquette as a teacher and the methods that he actually taught and that's like lasting and we use even currently. Yeah. Now, Ways, last year in the ASU program we did a very different seminar to what you are doing this year. What has this experience um, brought you? This experience has been a bit more challenging. Okay, so a lot more challenging. We've had to really delve deep into finding information on how the Prophet Islam taught, his methods of teaching, his etiquette, um, how he was as a teacher. It was, and it's not easy information to find. We really had to dig deep and scour through books and videos and lots of stuff. Compared to last year, it's a bit more simple and easy to get through. Alhamdulillah. And um, yourself, uh, Brother Madafir, also once again, a different experience doing the seminar. And the topic that you're particularly doing is a beautiful end of it because you're looking particularly at the Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What in particular stood out for you when looking at this hadith and realizing potentially how much Allah has given us through the Nabi Muhammad um, So obviously um, we know that uh, hadith Jibril is um, it's one of the most important hadith in uh, our deen that consists of um, fundamentals of the deen um, I think going deep into the hadith, learning more about uh, the Prophet Sallallahu uh, learning about his etiquette and the way he taught and, you know, um, I think that uh, really it, it, it shows us how, uh, how much more there is to learn. Um, how there's a lot that we don't know, how complex the, the, the hadith can actually be. Um, and um, yeah, it's it's not as simple as they would teach it to you in madrasa. It just it's just Islam in my understanding. It's a lot deeper than that. So um, I think it it also helped us to uh, uh, grow a lot closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a good. Um, if anything, that is a beautiful benefit to it. Thank you for that. Um, maybe for yourself, obviously, you're not um, from Cape Town. Mm -hmm. You've traveled far to come and seek beneficial knowledge. What inspired you to pursue this journey in going for a Bachelor of Arts degree in Islamic studies? So I actually have completed um, secular studies uh, in the field of accounting. And I just looked at where am I going with my life and what happens to the next generation. If a kid had to come up to me and ask me, okay, but like explain to me who is Allah, who is, uh, who is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what is Islam, exactly what is in this hadith. If a child had to ask it to me, I wouldn't have known how to answer that in such, in such a way that they would actually understand it and grow closer and want to become better Muslims and want to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it'll just be in such a way that maybe they're more confused maybe they will start to think about other religions maybe they'll just be like 
a little bit latent, a little bit um, apprehensive about Islam if it's too overly complicated. So we really do learn also in this hadith how clearly and concisely Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu explained such basic concepts that we build our entire life on. So that was one of the reasons that drew me to wanting to further Islamic studies. And then Medina found me. <laughs> I enjoyed my school year so much so that I wanted to come back but in that period between after finishing exams and deciding to come back there was a lot of things I encountered that I could understand because I was in Usu and there's also things I could see there were there were problems where people would say something and they wouldn't understand what they're speaking about but they learned about it here. Yeah, it's very basic stuff or specific topics, Akira topics. And people would argue and fight with each other but it's basic stuff you can learn just by sitting in a class. And so I thought, okay, I do actually want to take this further. Let me learn and grow more in this. I'd like to say shukran to you all for joining me and we look forward to your presentation next Tuesday, 3rd of September. I want to thank you for your success on this path and I want to thank you for bringing to your company so many that can benefit from the knowledge acquired. Shukran so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.